Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive five this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Hello, Yin Yang Gang. How are y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so Pisces, and this is Gangstar Tarot. You know, let's go. Let's get it. So today for me is September 6th, okay? 2020. Angels number 22 today. Already still in that week of the full corn moon. Um, channeled messages regarding mama. This is your daily general timeless message, which means whenever you see this, you were just meant to see it. However, our angels do speak to us numerically. Uh, so synchronicities is what we're looking for, okay? The sun is in Virgo. The moon is in Taurus. Uh, currently in a waning gibbous phase at 81% uh, illumination. Remember the script. Remember your protection pouch, your protection crystals against negative energies. Uh, remember your masks and your sanitizers. Save the world. So Sundays are ruled by the sun, a.k.a. Day of the Sun. Uh, the intent that we want to set via the law of attraction, which is what we are studying here. And if you don't know what the law of attraction is, it's basically positive thinking, uh, positive speaking can actually shift your atmosphere. And that if you have, uh, if you're working with positive uh, energy, positive energy is very, very powerful. And you're actually able to shift your complete atmosphere. That God gave us source, the universe gave us free will. We get to choose who we want to listen to but sometimes without wisdom remembered if we're not clearing our chakras if we're not meditating if we're not eating healthy if we're not drinking lots of water we're missing out on lots of substance that source has to offer right so we want banishment of all negative energies and the attractive we are attracting healing energies towards us the candle color would be yellow orange or white the oil would be lavender oil or sage oil okay so as I get ready, I not like that. As I get ready to light the eternal flame, I just want to want y'all to know that candle magic, candle prayers have played a huge part in spiritual um in humanity since guys when we first discovered fire, right? Like via the law of attraction, there are certain days best for certain candle prayers and colors as so. So we have the eternal flame flit. The killer eternal name lit flit uh fire. All right, so with the sun in Virgo and the moon in Taurus, I really feel a lot of grounding is going on um amongst the collective. Um really needing to chill the fuck out. Yeah, I mean we'll chill the chill the hell out, right? Um so just needing um spirit has called me to uh come in intercess daily timeless. Daily general timeless message. This is for all elements, earth, air, fire, water. I am intercessing on behalf of all. I am space. I am love. Um, I must serve the universe as the universe serves me easily and freely. Bitch on the flow. Okay? Thanks, Dr. Tara. Let's go. So let me go get my cards because I left them over there and we're going to get right into it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just... Um, a real tarot oracle card reader i don't cut edit or delete i just want to show you that all you need is just you and source just to get along my hubby gone will soon to be we never know but but my significant other he's gone right now the kids are all chilling out so i love these times when i get to get along with my star player my mvp and check in with us my ancestors, my spirit guides, my angels, my source, um, whatever it is that you choose to believe in that is greater than yourself. And if you don't believe that there is anything greater than yourself, then then I'm glad you're here. Please continue to watch, please. So I'm burning a little bit of cedar and um, sweet grass. I was already burning this week, guys. Let's go. So a message regarding moms for the soul that needs to hear it the most. Intercessing on behalf of all elements. Earth, air, fire, water, space. Spirit, I embody all. I humble myself before you. 
such an honor it is just to be at your feet yet again. Mm. Praying for a word. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So the deck that I'm using is the Paul Gray Angels, Angel Prayers. Spirit has to say. Healthy choices. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy choices. Yes, definitely. I've been feeling like drinking lots of water. As you all know, if you've been continuing to follow along here, I was smoking cigarettes. Now I'm vaping. Um, drinking lots of water. I went. I'm gonna talk about this in my next video when we get to see my new stuff for my magic box. Got some apple cider vinegar here. This does lots of love for the stuff for the third eye as well as your face a great toner great to drink just healthy choices coconut oil come on holy spirit this ain't no joke okay just making healthy choices loving yourself eating healthy and drinking lots of water so i really feel like somebody out there needs to drink lots and lots of water lots and lots of water you have not been drinking lots of water and spirits are drinking lots of water water is very important for growth Spirit animal, thank you, kingdom, for blessing my path with love. Okay, awesome. Wow, I am the raven. My spirit animal, you know, you take the test or whatever, I end up being the raven, the shaman. So I'm not able to travel into the shadows. Welcome back to the shadows. If anyone knows the true source of light was birthed by darkness. The mother of light is darkness, which is where I am most of the time. But the mother of light. Um, thank you animal kingdom for blessing my path with love and express your creativity thank you angels for helping me express my inner creator so overall i'm feeling like spirit is saying make healthy choices um if there is any substance abuse shout out to my n a a a a a um, if there's any substance abuse out there, I always like to tell everybody true deliverance can only come from God. But if you're thinking about stopping and going to a group or something or going to a treatment, that is great. But please don't stop there in the meetings. I do believe that it is a curse, uh, that they are sending out to have us stand up and speak over ourselves and say that we are addicts repetitively and just accept it in your mind that you'll never be nothing else but an addict. That is, that's, that's suicide. That spiritual suicide. There is power of life and tongue. Power of life and death in the tongue. Where's my lapis lazuli? You can't talk. There's power of life and death in the tongue. Okay. And so, um, just know that you can speak things over you. You can curse yourself up. Um, a lot of us are very powerful manifestors and don't even know it. So if you speak negative over yourself, negativity will come. So make healthy choices. Speak positively over yourself. Drink lots of water. Um, try to slow down. You know, true deliverance only comes from God. And you'll never know that you're delivered until you relapse and you realize that you don't want it anymore. That it no longer serves you. Some people die before they get there. Okay. And then spirit animal, if you don't know who your spirit animal is, if you don't believe in spirit animals, maybe you should check into spirit animals and then express your, that'll, that'll show you once you know your spirit animal and you accept that you'll be able to express your creativity. That's kind of how it happened with me. So let's what they have to see what they have to say on healthy choices. <clears throat> my glasses. You actually have to read here to learn. If you don't like reading, just come here and I'll read for you because I love books. That's how I get out of what's going on. All right. Your angels are encouraging you to make healthy choices for your body, mind, and soul. Looking after your energy is one step. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's dad right there. Mom. Dad was yesterday. Could be dad and mom, somebody's uh, parents who has, they really want you to make healthy choices for your body, mind, and soul. Looking after your soul energy is one step. You have a balanced diet and healthy relationships will also contribute to your spiritual growth. You are a pillar of strength. 
ensure you look after your inner light. The expanded importation is angels are able to send us much clearer messages when we are in alignment with the three parts of our being, mind, body, and soul. Choosing to have positive, loving, and grateful thoughts is the first step. Looking after your body and what you feed it is the second. Taking care of your soul by checking in with God is your daily uh, spiritual practice. This is the final one. There are healthy choices that will increase your choice. Yes, thank you, spirit. You are exactly right. Staying balanced through this bullshit. That's what we've been doing here, right? Yin, yang, gang. Balanced spirit, uh, spiritually, practically, and physically. Mind, body, soul. So, spirit animal. Alright, y'all. Tell us somebody. No personals right now. I'm not doing personals today. Uh, hold on. Okay, so spirit animal. Angels are sending you love and blessings through the animals in your life. Whether you have a pet here on earth or a pet who has moved on to heaven, there are loving blessings who surround you. At this time, take some time to connect with the animal kingdom and draw interpretation from it. The animals want you to know the animal kingdom holds messages of peace and harmony for you. Do anything you can to enjoy this. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. You know, that's funny that they were calling because I'm going to do the personal readings, but we're going to do them tomorrow because I'm, I've been waiting on these new cards to come right. And I really wanted to use the new cards to do air and earth as well but i think that was me and not spirit i think i need to go ahead and do my full moon readings tonight for earth and air and space and get y'all out of the way and then do my personals with the new cards tomorrow because it'll just be too much energy thank you spirit animal that would be the raven the shaman within me saying stay balanced bitch it ain't always about what you want to do so they do have messages expanded interpretation um animal Consciousness surrounds you at this time and passes messages to you from your guardian angels. If you felt inspired to help animal kingdom in any way, perhaps by becoming a vegetarian or adopting a pet, the angels are encouraging you to follow your guidance. You not only have a guardian angel, but also a spirit animal who is with you at all time. Say the prayer on the card, then close your eyes and ask the spirit animal to show itself to you. Trust the first thing your visions you have, the spirit animal, to connect you with your spiritual practice. Thank you, spirit animal. Can you repeat? Yes, yes. Ever since I got the raven, it just made sense, okay? Because I deliver messages all day. I get messages all day long, and I don't understand why. It makes sense. I'm the raven. It's just my duty. Um, and then um, express your creativity. Well, I just seen it. Okay, there it is. I know I just seen it. Oh, Earth Angel. Okay. Express your creativity. You are a creative being, and the angels are encouraging you to tap into your gifts so that you can share your talents with the world. These can go beyond the art from form of music. You are constantly creating in your life. You are being handed a blank canvas by the angels and encouraged to plant what happens next wow and i'm really planning check out my phytokinesis i just uploaded yes creative energy is flowing through you right now take some time to express this divine gift that you have you are an art art artistic not autistic artistic you are artistic with phenomenal ability to create in your life the light of your creator in order to take the next step, you are being encouraged to paint it or write it or sing about it. Bring it into creation in loving, expressing way. Yes, spirit. And this is me. I've always liked crystals, sage. I love music. 
I love my oracle cards. Me and my friends, we giggle, we pull the cards. What is he, that is he thinking? What is he doing? Is he like that big? You know, this has just always been us. This is just me. And um, I got my K&I uh, titanium aura. I have my Ravenstone out too. But today, it doesn't say the crystals on this particular card. And I'm going to have to adjust that. But I'm just going to get my orange stones out. Like my orange calcite. I have an orange calcite. We're going to pull on for some healing energy. And then like the ones for your solar plexus. And I'm going to have to get better with my crystals, guys. But I love them. I can feel the vibrations. I'm learning all the, the actual names of them. Remind you, I used to name them like Bob and Sally. And, and Sarah when I was little. Yeah, so I'm feeling that. And I have this little crystal garden just pulling out on that. My selenite wand. And then lavender oil. I'm using a little bit of orange oil because it just seemed appropriate um, with the orange candle. So I love you all. And that is what the spirit had to say today. See you guys tomorrow. It's getting start tarot and I gotta go. I already know that a nigga out you get into the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'ma chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money.